Hi everyone, this is Elena Krauss and welcome to another card video. In this video I'm featuring the new uh, August My Monthly Hero Kit from Hero Arts and I'm showing you a technique to create a foam like coffee foam using the Hero Arts Locker Pen and White Puff Embossing Powder. So you can see here quickly on that latte there the little puff um, on the foam. So let's get started. Here is a quick overview of the kit, the stamp set, 6x8 stamp set, and I'm going to use the little um, coffee cup. I'll stamp it uh, once, and then I decided to use two uh, cups onto my cards, so I will stamp and die cut one more time. So I'm using the Hero Arts um, Intense Black Ink to stamp the cup, and I apologize here, I'm a little bit off the camera, but you get the idea. So I'm stamping the straw, though I did not end up using that one, and then the foam. For the foam, um, I didn't want to use black ink, so I'm using the Hero Arts Caramel Bolt uh, inks to stamp that foam, and I'm stamping all the images, I stamped them tw twice using my uh, Misty. So next uh, I'm uh, taking the coordinating die cuts and uh, securing them on top of my stamped images, and then I will just run it through my die cutting machine. So here I'm just using some thin washi tape. The most of the time I'm using the Microspore uh, medical tape to secure those. So here you can see that by magic of YouTube everything is already die cut. I was just trying to see which image I wanted to use, which sentiment I wanted to use with my um, coffee cups. So next, by magic of YouTube, I have another um, coffee cup there. And here, here I will create that uh, foam. So I have that um, whipped cream image, and I'm applying, um, in the little section, I'm applying the lacquer pen, the Hero Arts lacquer pen. Next, I decided it was um, hard to handle that when it's all covered with the locker pen, so I added a strip of post-it note under it so I can use it as a handle to move that piece around as well apply some uh, embossing powder. So I'm applying here the puff embossing powder and quickly I will um, heat it up with uh, my heat tool. So you can he see here how it starts to bubble up and I think all the embossing powder is melted and here it's the look of the foam. So next I'm trying to decide uh, where I want the sentiment to go. Instead of an each individual cup I decided to cut it separately. So next I'm using cutting a strip of cor uh, corrugated um, cardstock, craft cardstock to do that little coffee cozy. And then I'm stamping the sentiment we are perfect blend onto red cardstock with Versamark and I'll emboss with uh, white embossing powder. I apologize for that little uh, sliver of uh, light there. The light was kind of behind me and there's no way to kind of block it off. So next I'm using the Heart Infinity dies and then I'm uh, making a frame using two of the circle infinity dies, so I secure those uh, to create that little uh, ring of green cardstock. I secure it with washi tape and then run it to my die cutting machine. So I have all the elements together, I'm just trying to assemble everything and see where I want everything to go. I'm adding some adhesive on the back of the green ring and adhering onto a white circle. I'm doing that twice for both coffee cups. So there we have that. Next I'll color the lid and the tumbler using the W3, W1, uh, 0 and double zero Copic markers. I won't worry about uh, the little opening where like, the content goes because we'll have it covered with the lid and uh, a whipped cream. So I'm just quickly covering here, there's no any particular technique. I'm just trying to add a little bit color to that white um, tumblers. I'm just blending everything in with the double zero here. And um, 
we're pretty much done. So next I'm using adhesive to assemble those coffee uh, cups. Then I'm adhering that uh, the corrugated uh, cardstock. I'm just doing it a little bit larger than the cup and then uh, I will trim off the excess from the sides. So I'm trimming that excess off there. And that cup is done. I'm doing the same thing on the second one. Next I'll adhere those uh, rings, but before that I will stamp the little heart, outline heart that comes in the kit using the uh, intense black ink and color with the R14 red uh, Copic marker. So we're almost done. I'll adhere, kind of add those to my card the coffee cups. Next I have a panel of white cardstock but before I go to that I'll adhere the little uh, circles onto my coffee cups and let it dry while I'm cutting this um, white cardstock panel. It's uh, five and a half by four and a quarter and then I'm cutting it both sides under an angle to create kind of irregular um, end and then I'm cutting piece of that corrugated uh, cardstock. It's uh, four and a quarter in width and I'll adhere that on the bottom of my uh, top folding note card. So I'll use my MISTI to line those up. So here again I'm going unfortunately off the camera but I have that uh, card uh, nicely into the corner and adhere that corrugated uh, cardstock. Next I moved it up into the other corner and I'll adhere that um, angled panel there. So I wanted a little bit some uh, of dimension so I added some uh, foam tape there. I trim off the excess from that corrugated cardstock there that was um, coming off the side. So I'm using my MISTI to line up my top panel with my card. So next what's left to um, arrange the elements onto my card and adhere them. So for the first one I'm just using uh, regular liquid glue, Tonic um, Nouveau Deluxe and for other one I'm using um, foam adhesive as well as for the sentiment. This finishes my card and Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well to visit my blog and subscribe to it for more ideas and inspiration. Thanks for watching and see you soon in another video. Bye!